All right, so reaction number five takes some zinc, just regular old pure zinc, and copper chloride. Show that to the folks there. It's oh. blue. It's kind of pretty. And we're going to add the two of them together, zinc plus copper chloride, in a single replacement reaction. And once you add it in, the reaction starts, but it's a very slow reaction, so you can show it to them. So you kind of can't see a lot. Um, but in, you know, the style of cooking shows that have come before us, here's one that's been reacting for a little bit. Kind of shake it around. And you'll see that the blue of the copper chloride actually will start to go away. Of course, now that I'm saying this, it's not going to. But what you can see is that our zinc is no longer silver because it's not zinc anymore. It's starting to be replaced with copper, and copper is kind of that reddy brown color. You can see some of the colors starting to go away, and it'll go away the longer this thing reacts. Let's see if we can get it to go away entirely. All right, we might revisit this one in a later experiment to see the color having gone away entirely. Here's our original one. So you can kind of tell the difference between the two colors here that the color on this one is starting to go away.